I'm always in t-shirts. They're all over the house. I hide them in uh, laundry baskets as well so that my wife doesn't kill me. Hi guys, I'm Vernon A from Class 95's Muttons in the Morning and welcome to my four bedroom condo. Let me give you a nice little tour. Uh, this is a space where I live with my wife and my three kids, so there are five of us, and I have two dogs as well. Uh, sorry, let me disappear for a while. I'll be right back, okay? This is our guest toilet, uh, which is kind of hidden and flush to the walls that we find really interesting because sometimes the guests come here and they don't know where the toilet is and I love seeing them walking around the house looking for the toilet. So this is the place I spend my most time in. One of the best things in my home is my blackout curtains. Once you draw them, turn off all the lights, it's pitch black and I can take a nice, well-deserved nap. I've kind of, funny enough, always known I wanted to be on radio. As a little kid, I had this little uh, cassette recorder. Yes, we did cassettes back in my day. Uh, no CD, no MP3, nothing. Anyway, anyway, I'd record the DJs doing their spiel. And of course, at like, you know, three, four, five years old, you don't have a DJ voice, but uh, you know, you kind of practice and, and learn how to speak like a DJ would. Do you childproof your house? We didn't specifically set out to be very childproof, although we decided to follow certain steps. But for kids being kids, see, you can be sharp edges, rounder edges, everything is made of sponge, but they'll still hurt themselves. But you try your best as a parent to make it as childproof as possible without compromising too much on uh, the design and feel good factor of your home. You spend the most time here, right? Mm -hmm. So, which part of a house do you wish to spend more time in? All right, so I'm taking you to the place that I wish I'd spend more time in, but uh, on the way there, in the hallway, you can, as you can tell, uh, there's lots of photos of the family in case we forget who lives here. At least, ah, this fella lives here, sorry. Uh, over here is uh, my eldest son's room. My little one's room here is Liam's room. And uh, my other little one, Niall, it's uh, clearly demarcated in case we forget who's in whose room. We know now. And here we go, it's uh, my wife and my room. I don't have many hours of the day to sleep because I keep such strange hours. I wake up at 4 every day and work goes on till maybe sometimes uh, 1, 2 p.m. So I usually take a nap outside in the living room. So have you ever thought about maybe stop doing your morning show so you can have a full night's rest? Ah. <sighs> You know, as a, a radio presenter, the morning show is the pinnacle of, of uh, you know, every radio DJ's uh, uh, career. I kind of want to say that I wouldn't trade it for anything else because I really love what I do and I'm so glad that I've been given the opportunity to do the morning show. Is this a usual uniform when you work? I'm always in t-shirts. They're all over the house. I hide them in uh, laundry baskets as well so that my wife doesn't kill me. Ah, so you have to thank your ID for that, right? Oh, well, sure. You know, the, one of the main things that I told him, I have a lot of t-shirts. So he was like, okay, cool. I'll build you an extra cabinet of drawers for all my t-shirts. The minute we sat down and spoke to our ID, wow, it was like a meeting of old friends, you know, all our ideas sing. From the minute we took the keys and handed it to our ID, it's like, okay, good luck with the reno. Please don't call me because I don't want to hear from you. That was it. And the next time we met him and came to our new place, it was all done up with no uh, arguments or, or, or disappointments uh, to us at all. Hey, Vernon, I think there's one part of the house you haven't shown us yet. Ah, here we go. So guys, this is the place that I spend the least time in. I even screw up Maggie Me. Can you, can you imagine that? So I, yeah, I, I really don't cook. Justin. Is there anything about him that you hope to change? I'll talk about a big problem. Now, professionally, there's nothing much I'd like to change about Justin. But uh, personally though, hmm, it's very hard to be around. It's very embarrassing to bring outside because he, he chews with his mouth open. So he chews like a cow and it's very noisy. He's a bit too trustworthy and too nice to people sometimes. And he lets people walk all over him. Now, I know he's a big guy and there's a lot of space to walk over, but he just should stop doing that because he gets taken advantage of a lot. And then I have to be the bad guy and start, you know, scolding and punching people. So is there anything that you want to try professionally but have not done so? Ah, besides radio, I want to try professionally to be a cook. That's why I'm in the kitchen right now. No. Uh, no, there's nothing I want to try uh, professionally aside from radio because I've been doing this for almost 30 years now and I still wake up with a big smile on my face knowing that I have a radio show to go and present and I don't think I want to do anything else. If you like our video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Click on the bell and don't miss out.